In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Postgre SQL version 12 as well as PG Admin 4 on Windows 10. All right, so first things first, let's go to postgresql.org and I'll have a link down below in the description if you'd rather click a link or you can type it in, postgresql.com. And when we wanna to go to download, you can go up here or over here and download. Go ahead and select your operating system, going on Windows and it tells us which versions are currently out for Windows. So we got 12, which is what we'll be installing in this video. But if you want one of the older versions, you can see what's available. And you can also see which bit platform. So 64-bit platform has version 12 I'm on 64-bit platform. And if you don't know what platform you have, you can type in PC, uh, right click on it, do properties, and it'll tell you right here what system you have. You likely have 64-bit, that's like standard issue these days. Anyway, let's go to download the installer now. And then we select our version. So we can go ahead and download our Windows version. Download. And I'm just gonna save it to my desktop for simplicity's sake. And it's gonna go ahead and download real quick. It is kind of big, 189 megabytes. So if you're on a slow connection or something like that, uh, you might wanna wait till you're, you're on a faster connection. All right, so it's finished downloading. Go ahead and click on it. And yep, I wanted to make changes to my system. And we got a little splash pop up there. And welcome to the installer, okay. We can select our install directory if you wanna change that. I'll leave it at the default. And we can go ahead and select which components we want installed as well. I recommend, unless you have a reason to, but uh, unchecking something, I recommend just leaving everything checked. That way you have it in case you wanna use it later on down the road, even if you don't know what it is at this point in time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next now, and I can go ahead and change my data directory if I want to. And I'm just gonna leave it as default. And yet there's an existing directory and all this looks good. And next. Setup is now ready to begin installation. So now it's gonna go ahead and install PostgreSQL and all the components onto my computer. So stand by. All right, so it's completed installation and it's asking me right now if I wanna launch Stack Builder at exit. I'm going to untick this box. I don't need to add any additional drivers or applications at this time. But again, it's nice to have it installed in case later on down the road, you become more familiar with PostgreSQL and that platform and you want to add some different tools, drivers, applications, etc. You have Stack Builder installed. All right, so I unticked it, hit finish and boom, just like that, PostgreSQL is installed, as well as the various components. Now, to load it up, we can come in here and we can go down to our P section, P, 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 PostgreSQL, and here's all the, here's the tool, as well as all the components we installed, and I wanted to show you PG Admin because this is like the web-based editor management tool for PostgreSQL, and this is the tool that You'll, you'll typically be using to run queries, create databases, things of that nature. Now, first things first, it's going to ask us for a password and I'm gonna go ahead and enter a password in here. And I think typically it asks you to set your password. Now I've already had PostgreSQL installed on my system before, so I set a password previously, but if, if during installation it asks you to set a password, go ahead, set a password and you'll type it in here. So I typed in my password. Okay, and boom, I'm inside of PG Admin now, PG Admin 4, and you can open your servers here, and we have things like your databases. Now I've got a few already installed, and I'll create another video that shows you how to install databases with like, or dummy sample databases. Uh, so if you want to run queries and practice and you're testing things out, you can install some, some databases. So if you have a database installed, you click on database here and it breaks it down. Like I'm looking at the Northwind database right here and you see all sorts of stuff. I don't quite understand all of it yet. Uh, and I don't actually know if you need to understand it, but what's most important likely is to come down to schemas and come into public and tables. And here is where you can see all of your various tables in your database. And of course, if you click into it, you can see your columns in the database, and then you can kind of get your database structure if you need to develop like a ERD, Entity Relationship Diagram, or something of that effect. So anyway, here we are in PG Admin. 
you got your databases on the left hand side. You can go to your dashboard, check out what's going on here. We got properties uh, with the different databases I have, SQL, statistics, dependencies, dependence, etc. And then if I wanna run queries, I can click on a database and I have this option right here for query tool and click on it. Select all from and let's pick a table in here. Let's go with categories, categories, and F5. And boom, just like that, I've selected all the, the categories from the Northwind database and the uh, categories table. So that's, that's how you go ahead and install PostgreSQL and get PG Admin up and running. Uh, and PG Admin, again, is likely where you're gonna do most, if not all, of your queries and database stuff. So if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, I appreciate a subscribe, like, comment, etc. And thank you. Hope you have a great day.